and speak. Trust the process. <laughs> Don't speak. Trust the process. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. So I can assess from your face that you're suffering from a couple of facial dysfunctions. You got a positive canthal tilt. You've got some age lines around your eyes. You look like you've got some swollen, sunken bags beneath your eyes. Have you been putting caffeine underneath your eyes? Don't worry, we'll put a bag of tea or coffee, preferably, underneath your eyes to make sure that they don't swell up. We're also going to get you a nice little ice water dunk. Really freezes up and tenses up the muscles. Some surgery may be in, in order. Some blepharoplasty. blepharoplasty. Um, let's see, I'm going to jot down a couple of your notes just to see what we're going to do with your eyes. Stay still. Just caffeine. Under eyes. I can tell that your cheeks are neither sunken nor sharp. We're gonna need to give you a little lesson in mewing. 101 elemental stuff. You should have learned this from the f from the jump. So, mewing. Practice. It'll keep the neck tight too keeps the jaw nice and sharp and it keeps the neck nice and tight. Next thing we're gonna have to do, the ice water face plunge keeps your muscles nice and tight. Prevents you needing to get Botox. Botox can sometimes worsen the effects of your looks maxing results. It might end up with you wanting to rope max. This is a phase that we're trying to avoid at all costs. Now, the next one we're going to have to make sure you practice consistently is squinting. We can't have you smiling, showing any form of emotion. That'll cause age lines, it'll make you look beta, look weak, look vulnerable. We're going to make sure that you have hunter eyes on lock at all times. If you don't have hunter eyes, you're getting preyed upon. That, it's just that simple. Squinting constantly. And then... We're going to do a couple of little eyebrow trainings as well. I'm going to make sure that no matter what I do to your face, you do not move those eyebrows. It'll cause forehead lines. Same applies with the age lines around your eyes. It'll make you look old, vulnerable, decaying. Looks maxing requires you have a constant masculine vitality surging through your body. I'm going to be just moving your eyebrows upward and then downward soon enough. Soon enough. Gonna just drop that one down for a reminder. Have you ever tried finasteride on your hairline? It'll help with your lack of a hairline. Yeah, it makes me want to cry. I have empathy for you. Don't worry, bro. I got empathy for you, but we're gonna have to try and buff out those rotting, crumpling up follicles with some finasteride. And we're going to also oil your hair. As previously mentioned, some surgery is also going to be needed. We're probably going to need to do a canto, cantoflexi, cantoflasty, cantoflasty. We're going to tighten up the outside corners of your eyes to make sure you constantly look like you're squinting. I'm going to put that one down. Cantoflexi. We're also going to have to do a, blepher a blepharoplasty, a blepharoplasty. That's just to fix up the eyelids. You've got tragic, depresso kind of eyelids. We're going to need to tighten those up, make them a little bit more huntered. A little more... What's that one lady for me, myself, and Irene? Renee Zellweger. Then we're also going to have to apply some zygmoatic tape the muscle of your cheekbones that'll keep your face looking upwards it'll be extra extra perfection i have the tape with me at all times for emergencies 
and then I'm going to teach you how to do bilateral forward chewing. This will help you to maintain jawline, cheekbones, dental health. Ready? Excellent. First things first, I'm going to apply some caffeine bags to the bottom of your eyelids. Waste not, bro. Waste not. For the Lord provideth, and the Lord will taketh. Today you may have, but tomorrow you may not have not. So thank your blessings and pray for endurance. I want to take this tea bag out. Coffee bag. It's a coffee bag. I'm going to take this coffee bag out. I'm gonna make sure this coffee bag is nice and heated up for you, bro. Don't worry. I would never put a tea bag on your eye that isn't nice and warm for your face. I would never tea bag you like that, bro. I'm gonna show that every tea bag I give you to the face is just warm, tender, invigorating, and energizing, inspiring. I'm just gonna apply this tea bag right there to the bottom of your eyelid, right there. I'm gonna need you to just consciously through full force of your mind right cia doc documents you gotta really think about how they found people could manipulate things with their mind allegedly hypothetically supposedly how do you even explain that you're gonna want to keep those coffee bags underneath your eyelids i'm gonna heat up my second tea bag i need to make sure that i always give you both tea bags there we go i'm gonna put this tea bag underneath your eyeball gonna make sure that your eyes don't look so crappy anymore. We're gonna take them from crappy to snappy. I'm just gonna put this one right over here. How do you like my tea bag on your face? Yeah. I know you can feel it. Everyone loves my tea bags. I'm gonna to cross that off the to-do list. Now I'm going to give you a little small lesson on mewing. Very simple, very quick. Everyone should already know this. You stick your tongue to the top of your, to the roof of your mouth. And then just close your, your mouth. Notice I'm not mewing right now. Look at that, soft, like a baby's bottom. Soft, like, like caca. Like curry driven caca. Soft. Oh. I'm you. Hard. Hard. Too hard. That's alright. You've got a mew 24 7. You break your mewing streak. That basically ends your bloodline. You don't want to do that to yourself, brother. You've got to constantly mew. If you're not speaking, you're mewing. Even in your sleep, you're mewing. Tongue to the top of your mouth. Mew. Mew from me. Mew from me. Put the tongue to the top of your to the top of your mouth. R mew from me. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna go in real quick and I'm just gonna shove that tongue right onto the top of your mouth right there. Hold it. Hold it. Now I'm gonna remove my fingers. Hold it. I want you to close your mouth for me. Oh. Perfect. I crossed that one out. We're gonna practice a little bit of squinting now. Do you understand the concept behind squinting? The value behind squinting? The power behind the gaze? You combine squinting with mewing. And it's almost like you, you travel through the world in easy mode. Can you even fathom traveling through the world in easy mode? You cannot. Cannot. So, we're gonna begin by examining your eyes. They look like little baby reindeer eyes. This is why you're a victim. We're gonna need to change that. And quick. 
With the art of squinting, you basically look at the target, even if you have no target, envision a target, and you just stare at it with all full force and might, locking your attention onto it. Can you focus on the tip of my finger real quick right here? Lock in. Lock in. Three, two, one. Lock in. Lock in. Three, two, one. Lock in. Lock in. Tip of my finger. Lock in. Lock in. Three, two, one. Lock in to the top of my finger right here. I'm gonna need you to just really focus in. I could tell that your eyes still aren't as in that adrenaline, in that hunter-gatherer mindset yet. You envision yourself as a as a genius caveman. Lock in. Lock in. Lock in. Good. Lock in. Lock in. Good. Lock into the tip of my finger. Tip of my finger right up here. Look at the... Oh, okay, up here now. Up here. Okay, now here. Tap my finger. Tip of my finger. Tip of my finger. Perfect. You're locked in, bro. Keep that squinting up. I'm definitely going to need you to maintain that squint while I do a couple of surgeries onto your eyes. Okay. Now I'm going to run a couple of little... Actually, before I run a couple of exercises, I'm actually going to just put this ice over your face, bro. I'm going to need you to just stay still from me, okay? I'm just going to try to feel the, the different spots on your face from time to time. I'm just going to ice your face, bro. I'm just going to ice it. Ice. Ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. It's like our prophet Vanilla Ice, the one who made the song Ice Ice Baby, the founder of rap and hip-hop. He is the pioneer of the genres. It's like he said, all right, stop, collaborate and listen. What are we doing here if not collaborating and listening? I much appreciate your patience, your dedication, your commitment your understanding of the value behind this practice. I believe I'm just going to do a couple more oil. oil. I think it's melting enough. Just, just doing a couple little drip drips. Drip drips. Drip drips. Anyways. oil. It's going to serve us in just a moment, but now that we have iced your face, it's been depuffed your face, your water, your muscles in your face are now contracted. I'm going to do a quick little test on your eyebrows. I'm going to need you to never move them, okay? I'm going to try to move them upwards. Resist me. I'm going to try to move your eyebrows upwards. Good. Resisting. I'm going to try to move them downwards. Resist me. Good. Excellent. I'm going to try to pull it by the corners now. Pull it. Good, okay. Did not move eyebrows, very sigma of you. Now I'm gonna put some finasteride on your hair and I'm gonna oil up your hair. So just stay with me here just for a little moment here. Apply a little finasteride onto your hair, just a little bit right here on top. Just a little on top here, bro. Don't worry. We're gonna have your hair growing back, look at your split. There we go. Mm-hmm. Now we're just gonna oil it up. I'm gonna grab a bottle of this olive oil to olive to, ol to olive oil it up, and then I'm gonna apply some coconut oil onto your hair. Yeah, your hair actually does look like coconut hair. You know how the coconuts have a little bit of hair growing out? That's how your hair looked used to look. But that wasn't you, bro. That was never you. I'm turning you into the real you. That way. The way you look will never be an obstacle to you discovering the true version of you. The more olive oil, you need tons of it. It's Australian extra virgin olive oil. It's from Down Under, mate. Down Under. I'm gonna put a little bit of this coconut oil onto your hair. Perfect. Now that we've nicely oiled.
Your hair is gonna grow out like a horse's mane. <laughs> now we're just gonna do a little process here. It's gonna be extra quick. I'm gonna measure out your eyes before we begin just to make sure that they're nice and even afterwards. So I'm just gonna grab this little measuring tape right here. And I'm just gonna measure out your eyelids real quick right there. Okay, and then right there. Okay. Yeah. This will be easily done. I'm just gonna take a quick little measurement right here. I'm gonna do a little can canto cantoplaxy. Just gonna I broke my immunity streak. I just broke my squinting streak. I'm gonna get age lines now. I'm gonna have to double up on the caffeine bags. I'm gonna have to teabag my own face to make up for my own smile. I'm just gonna cut a little bit of that eyelid off. You don't need all of it. It makes you look a little too goofy. I'm just gonna take a little trim trim. They say that the eyes are the gateways to the soul, but you can't let these these females be seeing your soul like that. You never know how they're gonna just crush it with their with their trickery. Make sure that no one can ever see into your soul, bro. As far as they know. You... Soul? What soul? You already delivered it up onto Christ. Why do you want to be seeing my soul? I'm gonna just cross that one off too. Zygmoatic tape. Cheekbone tape. I'm not gonna be getting a little bit of this. Zygmoatic. I got scotch tape. Because even though alcohol is super, it, it shrinks up your brain and it also poisons your bloodstream. But if you're gonna get, if we're gonna get any type of tape, it's gonna be scotch tape. The only thing better would have been whiskey tape or fashion tape. Gin and tonic tape. Whiskey tape. I'm just gonna apply it right here. Tied enough that muscle, took on another little piece. Okay. Perfecto, as the Italians say. Bilateral forward chewing. Quickly, can you do this for me? I'm gonna bring it forward, bring the chin forward, a dish. Yeah, we wanna make sure you got that crimson chin. Perfect. Okay. I think we are finished here. I've done everything that I can for you so far. If you ever need a little assistance, please don't hesitate to call my offices and ask. I am 100% here for you, bro. We are gonna get you from a sigma to a sigma in no time. I'm gonna put my material to the side. Remember. Key to the secret. 